Namaste everyone. This video is for all those who are suffering from COVID-19 either in home quarantine or must be must be in hospital going through a milder to severe uh, severe uh, infection and the symptoms which could probably be varying from milder symptom to a uh, to a very severe symptoms uh, some may be even in ICU uh, but may not be I mean you know if you are in ICU you may, you may not be able to actually do uh, the exercises that I'm going to talk about in this uh, video but those who are able to do it whether you are in the hospital or in the quarantine uh, locations or, uh, or at home quarantine uh, you can practice this exercise on a daily basis and you will find um, remarkable changes in your in your um, in your health this can also be done by an asymptomatic person uh, probably must be much easier for an asymptomatic person to practice this um, and this would strengthen your lungs it would strengthen your um, uh, the, the, the uh, immunity um, so this is this is a very simple exercise and I can very well understand how one would be feeling um, you know going through the symptoms of COVID-19 I myself went through it um, um, I'm, I'm a COVID-19 I was a COVID-19 patient and got out of it after my 14 days of uh, home quarantine I had symptoms um, not all the symptoms in fact um, not everyone gets all the symptoms and uh, not all gets all the you know not not that um, you know all the symptoms happen to a single person um, so everyone gets different kinds of symptoms depending upon their body structure their immunity um, you know their, their immunity of the body so everyone everyone can have different kinds of symptoms um, I had breathlessness issue I had severe um, uh, headache I had heaviness on the head I had fever uh, bouts of fever not very high fever but uh, very slight you know it, it used to come and go uh, and but I had I had cough but amongst all these symptoms uh, the worst one was the breathlessness and um, not that I mean I had breathlessness issues through and through all my 14 days of quarantine uh, sometimes of the day the breath is absolutely normal then no problem at all sometimes uh, bouts of breathlessness and which I couldn't even control so I guess everyone uh, has their own uh, set of difficulties uh, but this is this this um, this exercise is actually to tell you that if you follow some of these exercises that I'm going to talk about you will find yourself becoming more immune you will find yourself getting better day by day this is purely a breathing exercise and I have done it myself with lots of difficulties during the COVID-19 um, uh, infection time I did it and it gave me a lot of relief and I'm sure if you follow this religiously and if you have a self-discipline in following it you will also find the benefit out of it no doubt about it there is no doubt about it why do I why do I why do I emphasize on doing this even if you have pain even if you're not able to do it I urge you to do it and why do I do that because the only thing that connects you with the universe is the breath if that gets cut off your history and we don't really we don't really realize it we don't give that much of importance and uh, respect to the to the air that is actually going in and out even now I mean you know you can check I mean the way the air is actually going in and out and and it's so phenomenal I mean the if you observe and if you can if you can actually put your finger down at the nose nostrils just below the nostrils you will know you will know the wonder and the wonder is that you will see that the air is actually flowing very freely through one single nostril after a few minutes you you check again you will see that the nature has actually shifted that nose that that air flow into the other nostril such a beautiful phenomena it's happening every time and every single day in your life 
how does this happen this is how the nature has created uh, the human beings this is how the nature has worked out its methodology of air going in and out beautifully well now if if it's so so important for for us to actually uh, have a life you can understand the 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 importance of breathing and you can you need to understand the why why this breathing need to be um, practiced why the breathing need to be made made as a conscious effort than an, than an unconscious effort as it is happening today in our life the more you are conscious about your breathing the better your health is going to be the better your immunity is going to be so i'm going to talk about a very few very simple easy to use breathing techniques here and anyone can use it anybody can use it the first and the foremost in the list is the water breathing now i call it as water breathing one because it's very easy to use number two you can use it at any time of the day you don't need to you i mean it's it's like this it's water is something that you can drink at any time of the day you can sip it at any time of the day you can you can sit down and drink you can stand and drink you can you can do, i mean you can drink at any time you can drink any amount of it i mean it, it, your body needs it through and through throughout the day so i call this as a water breathing and it's very simple it goes like this the steps of water breathing goes like this that you take you you breathe in through the nose at the count of one two four then you hold the breath inside for a count of one two four then you release the air at the count of four two one I mean four to one I mean four three two one so one two three four inhale one two three four hold it four three two one release it you can do this about five times and the, the way I used to do is that by counting it uh, using my left uh, fingers so I count as I, I count this as a one cycle second cycle third cycle fourth cycle fifth cycle this is how this is how so we 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 can practice this one I will show you how I do it by mentally counting inside and you can you can practice this one you can perhaps stop this video at this time and you can practice this five times so we here we go Once again, one, two, three, four, inhale. One, two, three, four, hold the air inside. Four, three, two, one, exhale. Now, when you are breathing inside, breathing, when you are taking the breath inside, when you are inhaling, take the breath very deep. Let it go, let it go through the nostrils into the lungs. And as you experience the air going in through the nostril, you can you can feel the air actually, you know, air actually get going and touching the sides of the nostril, and you can feel it. It's just going, it's just going somewhere here. And as you experience that feel of the air inside the nostril, and I I would urge you to experience it. This is where automatically concentration comes in. If you need concentration and if you don't want your mind to wander here and there, engage your mind in experiencing the feeling of air going inside and outside. So that means you are employing the mind to, to work. Otherwise, the mind will go here and there, wherever, you know, it just wanders around. So the best way to actually have the mind focused it's to let the mind experience the air which is going inside and coming outside. So the mind has nothing else to think about it, but mind has got something to think. 
because mind always wants to think i mean you know how much of you try to actually stop your thoughts it's never going to happen because mind always wants to think so stop my thoughts never forget about it it doesn't happen so why not you employ the mind to what you really want you want the mind to do so that's the best thing to do so this way you can experience the breath going inside and you can visualize that the breath is going deep inside your nose into your lungs and mixing with the blood in the lungs and infusing the blood with the oxygen and that blood carrying the oxygen is moving and going into the minutest veins in your body every single atoms every single cells in your body is receiving this oxygen that you have taken in you feel you visualize this happening every time when you're breathing in you will see a remarkable change happening to you in in coaches of the day i mean in in few days time you will see it happening now this is called water breathing you can do this one at any point of the time at any point of time at any point of time and during the day you can do it morning afternoon evening whatever you can you can do it while lying down you can do it while sitting down you can sit on a couch you can sit on the floor your choice preferably much better and I feel it much better sitting on my on the floor with the spine erect with a head straight slightly bent on top and then doing it I feel it much better and if I just bend slightly like this I mean bent upwards slightly like this I can even feel the air going inside I mean this is this is how I experienced it and I'm sure you can you can find your own comfortable way to experience the air going in and out so this is water breathing the second breathing exercise is called um, Nadi Shuddhi now the word Nadi Shuddhi is the is the word that is used uh, in the yogic language uh, it simply means that I'm, I'm purifying or I'm cleansing the, uh, the, the, the nadi, the vein, which is there inside the nose, I mean the, the, the nostril. How do you do it? <clears throat> you got to, you got to, you got to use your right, uh, right uh, hand, okay? Fold your two fingers like this, like, like this, and keep your ring finger and your little finger close to each other and the thumb free. So thumb and the ring finger is the one which you are going to employ while doing this exercise. <clears throat> In the Nadi Shuddhi, what we're going to do is we're going to close his right nostril and inhale through the left nostril. And then exhale through the left nostril. After that, Close your left nostril, inhale through the right nostril, exhale through the right nostril. That means inhalation and exhalation happens only through one single nose. While inhalation and exhalation is happening through one nostril, the other nostril is closed. So you do this alternatively by closing um, each of the nostril. And this is called Nadi Shuddhi. And when you take a breath, Take a deep breath inside, deep inhalation. And as you deeply inhale, visualize the air going inside, infusing the oxygen into the blood and then the blood is carrying the oxygen into every part of your body. It's a beautiful experience that you can do. This is called, um, this is called um, <clears throat> Nadi Shuddhi. And you can do this one once uh, in the morning, once in the evening. You can do this about, uh, you know, 10 times uh, if you can do it. Very good. Uh, but again, I mean, you know, uh, during my COVID uh, quarantine time when I was a patient, I had difficulty in, um, in, in keeping the continuity of the breathing, you know. At the count of probably, I mean, you know, in my second cycle or third cycle, I find it so difficult and I start coughing. All these things can happen, interruptions by, by cough, by breathlessness, um, tiredness, all these things can happen while you're doing this exercise. But the best thing that you need to, to keep in mind is that 
come what may, never give up. Never give up. Continue doing this even if you fail. Even if your breathing stops and you're not able to breathe, it's all right. Leave that aside. Pick it up from where you stopped and do it. Even if you miss the nostrils uh, in terms of alternate, alternative nostrils, in one cycle you miss it, doesn't matter. Forget about it. Leave that aside. Continue from wherever you stopped. Don't need to worry about it. Don't need to bother about it. Just continue doing it as much as you can. Try to keep a count of about 10 cycles so that you're able to actually stretch yourself till you complete the 10 cycle. Otherwise, you have a tendency to finish it before you finish the 10 cycles. So I urge you to do this as a morning and evening exercise. You will feel a lot of difference in your breathing. <clears throat> the third uh, breathing exercise is called, um, again, in, yo in yogic language, it's called, uh, called um, Sukha Kriya. So Sukha Kriya is very simple. Again, you keep all your fingers, all the four fingers uh, close to each other, touching each other with the thumb, um, thumb like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to close the right nostril, holding your hand like this. Right nostril is closed. And you take a deep breath inside through your left nostril. Once the breath is inside, then you close the nose, left nostril with your, with your little finger. And again, keeping try to keep all the three fingers together it may not sometimes it may not because this finger might just bend a bit but that doesn't matter hold it like this and then exhale through the right nostril then inhale through the right nostril close the right nostril exhale through the left nostril again inhale through the left nostril close the left nostril exhale through the right nostril so alternate you know, alternate between these noses. So it's like inhalation through one nose, exhalation through the other nose. So how I do it is that I used to count, I, I, can, I used to count like this. One. If I take one as the, the inhalation one, and I feel that, okay, the air is touching here, then I can two. Then I, I close this note and say three. Four. It's like this. One. Two. Three. Four. It's like one, two three four in that cycle if i do one cycle and i do this 21 times i'm done do it in the morning do it in the evening that means twice a day this helps you remarkable changes will happen in your health and your immunity system the next breathing exercise <clears throat> is is again four 12, 8, 4, 12, 8, which means you hold your right nostril, take a deep breath and inhalation at the count of 1 to 4. After you, after you inhale, close, the, close both the nostrils and count 1 to 12 mentally. After that, open the right nostril, exhale at the count of 1 to 8. After that, inhale through the right nostril at the count of four to one. Close the right nostril, both the nostril, count 12 to one. And then release the left nostril and count eight to one. So it's like this, one to eight, one to 12 holding. Sorry, it's one to four, Inhale, 1 to 12 holding, 1 to 8 exhale, then 4 to 1 inhale, 12 to 1 holding, 8 to 1 exhale. So 4, 12, 8. 
So it goes in, in um, chronological order in one, one cycle and the reverse order in the other cycle. So 1 to 4, 1 to 12, eight, 1 to 8, 4 to 1, 12 to 1, 8 to 1. So that's how you do this. You can do this about five times uh, in one, one cycle. Uh, you know, you can do it each cycle, uh, you know, five times. Uh, this would again, you can do it in the morning time and the evening time. This again will uh, relieve you from uh, a lots of, lots of breathlessness issue that you may face. So if you do these simple breathing exercises, uh, I'm not getting into the rapid breathing because rapid breathing would be probably difficult especially if you have a breathing uh, issue. Um, so, so I would not suggest you do rapid breathing when you have severe uh, symptoms, but if you can do rapid breathing, if you don't have, if you have mi milder symptoms and if you, are, if you are able to do it, you can do rapid breathing. Rapid breathing is again, um, uh, I can put the link uh, below for the rapid breathing called Simha Kriya, uh, which is Lion's uh, Kriya which is which is sometimes um, not that easy for people who are facing severe symptoms and i had done it and i could never do it um, in the first few days um, I, I was halfway through in in the simha kriya and then gradually i i kind of uh, conquered the full cycle um, so it's again i mean just to give you a quick example of it uh, if you can sit on the floor and uh, you put your put your put both your uh, you know hands onto the knees and then push yourself like this where your your rib your rib is actually rib cage is actually lifted up completely and then you put your tongue out like this and then you breathe breathe heavily breathe very very deeply heavily like this You do this 21 times after you the after you do that then you fold your tongue like this and then again do 21 times like this so 21 times turn another 21 times after you finish 21 times then take a deep breath inside like this and then hold your breath inside at least for one minute you may not be able to hold on for one minute, but if you do it for 30 seconds, that's good enough. Gradually, you can, you know, take yourself to, to one minute. And then after you finish that, bring down your neck and then exhale. This is Simha Kriya. And if you do this on a continuous basis, just do it once a day. Don't do it twice a day because it may not be that easy to do it. But once a day, if you do it with a disciplined manner, you'll be able to actually um, come out of this uh, symptoms of COVID-19 and you will start feeling that your body is actually getting more immune. The only reason, the only reason the immunity builds up, especially when you are actually a COVID-19 patient is by the, by the, by the way that you are taking the oxygen inside your body, I mean, inside your lungs. And your lungs capacity increases, your lungs become more stronger, and your breathing is so deep that the more and more oxygen is actually being pumped into the blood. So you will not face the half breath issue, choking issue, I mean, you know, you. Uh, most of the time, I mean, some you know, I had experienced that you know the breath, the breath is actually not going further down from here. Breath is stuck, stuck somewhere, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling as if the breath is not complete. All these symptoms, I, I had experienced it, but while I experienced all these symptoms, I continued to do all these exercises, including Simha Kriya which was a disaster for me in the initial few days, but then gradually I picked it up and I, I, I started experiencing a better result. Um, the, only, the only advice that I can give everyone is that if you start breathing exercise, never stop it, never stop it. Come what may, never stop it. 
That's the kind of discipline that one should have. That's the kind of determination that one should have. And if you have that with you, your, your universe is there to bless you. Universe is there to give you the grace. Universe is there to, to take you out of this situation. Because every breath that you're taking inside you is, is the universe that you're taking inside. And when the universe is inside you, it's a doctor inside you. It just heals you. Well, <clears throat> I'm not getting into more details about a lot of other things that you can actually do while you are a COVID-19 patient. I mean, a lot of things in terms of your food, in terms of your diet, in terms of water intake, in terms of uh, very simple home remedies. Uh, I'm not getting into that in detail here, but I just thought I must uh, talk only about the breathing exercises in this uh, in this episode, um, in this video. I hope um, I hope everyone uh, I hope you like it, and I hope you practice this one, and I hope you find a better result by doing this religiously, consistently. Um, I, I request um, all those viewers to um, press the subscribe button and uh, press the like button if you like it and please feel free to actually comment uh, below let me let me read your comments and if you have if you are practicing it and if you are finding results I'll be very happy to receive your comments and uh, know that you have experienced better results by doing this one I guarantee you I guarantee you if you practice this religiously you will definitely find results I have advised many of my my colleagues my friends uh, who have who have gone through COVID-19 um, I've I've kind of shared this with many people many people individually and they've felt they've, they've experienced uh, great results out of it I mean these are very simple exercises nothing it doesn't cost you anything it just it just costs discipline that's it thank you very much for viewing it and uh, I wish to put more and more of uh, such videos to to all my viewers thank you for being being a subscriber to my channel thank you so much god bless you